Obviously, this is the sequel to Fun in the City, which is a film I didn't like, so it's fair to say my expectations were low. So, you could say I wasn't disappointed, as it met my expectations. It was awful. It was so awful, I'd rather not spend any more time on it by talking about it. But that wouldn't be a film review, and I think I owe you all a review to save you wasting your money going to see it. So, it starts off with this big wedding scene, and I won't go into why, but the whole scene is just there so they can make this one joke. It's not even a funny joke, it's just... It's just terrible. It's got nothing to do with the rest of the film. Anyway, it starts there. Then, instead of the characters and the plot staying in New York where the original film was set, one of them wins a ticket to India and decides to take all her friends. It's what directors do when they've run out of ideas. Let's take our characters on tour. Anyway, they gossip, cry and shop, and they repeat this until the end. No real people would ever act like this. I didn't have any sympathy for their problems or even care what happened to them. Don't go and see it. You'll only encourage them to make another sequel. The world doesn't need three of these films. Please save your money and go and see the other big film this week, Twilight Mirror. So if you're a fan of the book it's based on, you're probably as excited as I was about this. For everyone else, this is a film fans have been waiting 10 years to see. I have to confess, I was a bit nervous. I'd seen the posters and they didn't look right. I didn't love them at all. And I wasn't sure about the actors they cast either. So I went in not sure what to expect. But I loved it. One thing I really liked about it was the pace. They went backwards and forwards between the real world and the computer world and it worked really well. The special effects brought the computer world to life and I totally believed in it. But more than that, I felt emotionally connected to the story and the characters. The whole film worked on so many levels. It reminded me of going to the cinema as a child, how much fun that was. I can't recommend it enough.